Hi, this is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson, and we got Miles in here with us this morning, and Miles is a college football player, tackle, and you can see from me hiding behind him, he's, what are you, about 6'6"? 6'7". 6'7", and 280? 300. 300 pounds. Mm -hmm. So we get some big boys in here, uh, just like Miles, and, and playing football is kind of like being in a car accident every time you play, right, Miles? Especially in the line. Yep. And uh, so we see a lot of football players in here, professional, college, high school, even uh, what do they call that when you're young? Uh, pop league. Warner. Yeah, Pop Warner. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So, Miles, I'm going to have you close your eyes and let's have you flex your head forward and backwards for me. And then neutral. There you go. See, Miles is a side sleeper, I can tell. His head's forward and turned to the right. He twists to the right when he sleeps most of the time. Now, his pelvis has shifted way over to the right of center on the x-axis. And uh, I've already done his orthopedic neurological exam, but I want to show you a couple highlights. Let's go ahead and let him you tell me again. He had positive foramen compression test bilaterally and a positive... decompression. Now his right leg is an inch shorter. You can tell right where his sole and heel meets. I don't ever look at the very bottom of the sole, but where the sole and heel meets is where you see the true leg length. And then I bring it up, you can see it gets even, that tightens up and your little back of the thighs, doesn't it, Miles? Yes, sir. And upon palpation, I found that he had both SI joints sore, especially over here on this left one. And he's got tenderness on the spinous processes at L5 all the way up here into T11, T12. That's really tight muscles right in here. You get a lot of stress right here too, don't you? Mm -hmm. Now, see, he's got a big dip in his mid-thoracic spine here, T5. A lot of paraspinal muscle hypertonicity. He's got C5 and 6 on the right, C3 and 4 on the right, and his atlas is subluxated on the right. He gets headaches every once in a while. Now this is a sacral deviation test. Lift that whole right leg up, Miles. Okay, relax that one. Do the same thing on the left. Now see, he has a harder time lifting this left one up, but when I did his right one, did you feel that clicking in there yeah. when you did that? That hurt a little bit too, didn't it? Yeah. So he's got a right sacral deviation down here, so I'm going to start adjusting his sacrum first, superior to inferior, and also on P to A in the Z axis. And I'm adjusting the center of his sacrum now, and then now the left side of his sacrum. And now I'm going to adjust his right SI joint. A lot of people that get lower back pain and pain down in their buttocks or in their leg, commonly known as sciatica, get it from their sacroiliac joints or SI joints as opposed to their lumbar spine. But usually when the SI joints or sacrum subluxated like Miles's, you have subluxation also up in the lumbar spine region. So as you've noticed from watching our videos on how I adjust. I adjust the entire spine and pelvis. The entire body, actually. There we go. Good. There. Boy, I'm catching you all over the place there, Miles. Okay, let's have another look here. And look at there. Imagine that. It's exactly even now. I bet you this feels easier this time, Miles. Oh, yeah, wow. Okay, you can feel your head popping up a little bit. There's C3, 4, and I'm going to come down to C5, 6, and down to T1, T2. Okay, let's turn you on your back now. We're going to put his whole head up over his spine. He's a big, tall guy, so he's probably used to looking down at people all the time. Yeah. Upside down this way just a bit. No, yeah. There you go. Yes, sir. See, I'm bringing his head up and back over his shoulders with this one. Let's put your arms straight out to the sides, palms facing up. Side down about an inch. About one and a half inch. There. Adjust 
your shoulder, your clavicles now, and your interior ribs up here. Did you ever hear your ribs popping when you're doing bench press or stretching? Yep. There. That's us in the cave of misalignment of the vertebra with the thoracic spine and ribs where they meet in the back called the costovertebral subluxations. There you go. Should have felt that from your knee all the way up into your pelvis. Yep. Same here. Yes, sir. I'm getting better now. Okay, let's hit you and face that away. Got some creptus in that right shoulder, too. You just popping? Yeah. Feel mm -hmm. that? Did you do that a lot? Yeah. Okay. I can barely get my arms around you. <laughs> Miles is a self-professed crack addict. You've been watching this on YouTube for how long? About a year and a half. About a year and a half. Took you that long to get in? <laughs> yeah, I know. I moved right down the road. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah. I told Miles he's the only guy in Houston that, being his size, could wear a New Orleans State shirt around the Texan territory. <laughs> he's from Louisiana, though, right? Yeah, left here. Lafayette. Okay. Excuse no, you're okay. Okay, let's go ahead and lay you on your back right here, Miles. Elvis there. Okay, this is going to feel tight, Miles. It should. Six seven, you might want to be six eight after this. <laughs> you might be six eight after this, I should say. Just let your legs bend and relax naturally. What are those about size 16 shoes? Uh, 14. 14. <laughs> oh, man. You get a workout just lifting your legs up mm -hmm. and your arms. Okay, deep breath through your nose. Keep your teeth together. Oh, yeah, home run. I don't have to ask twice if you felt that one. Right now. now, you remember your reflexes before. Look at that. That's better, isn't it? Yes, sir. That's it. Nope, I still got one here. Let me have you. Will you let big toe? Okay. Fight me on that one. <laughs> You're a big guy, but I've still got a lot of strength. I'll beat you. Yes, sir. All right, let's come over here in front of the mirror sideways. Oh. Yep. Stand right there. Okay. I'm 6'9 right now. Yep. Oh, you're standing up straighter already. Oh. Let's have you flex your head forward and backwards again. Remember how this feels. That's better. Take a look at it. Okay, you still got a little forwardness yeah. on your shoulders to so lift up here. Pull back simultaneously. Put these back like this. See, that tightens up that whole mm -hmm. trapezius. Now, your biggest problem is your head's forward and to the right. So we bring it straight back first. Translate left. Now tilt backwards and look at the wall behind you. Squeeze your shoulders together. You need a little tap on your atlas here and here. Relax. Okay, when you go forward and backwards again, Miles, tell me what feels different about this. Uh, it's a lot looser, smoother. Smoother? Good deal. So you walked in here with low back pain and that side joint pain now and left hip pain. Are you feeling any of that right now? I'm feeling like relief. Good. A lot in my lower back where I was having that problem with. Good. That's why we call it advanced chiropractic yeah, relief. Appreciate that. You bet. Thank mm -hmm. you for sharing your experience with everyone. This is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson, coming to you from Advanced Chiropractic Relief in Houston, Texas. We'll see you all soon.